Well, I was just curious if you could kind of describe for me what it was like to hear the news from the Trump administration today. Uh, it was it was definitely very upsetting and, and disappointing. I don't necessarily think it was all that surprising, though, and it was certainly not in any way disheartening or discouraging. I think that, you know, everybody is just gearing up to do just that much more and fight that much harder. You know, every time we've talked to you, you have always had this very positive attitude about everything that's going on. How do you, given, you know, the stuff that's coming at you, how do you stay so positive? I just feel like it's a waste of time and energy to move through life with a negative attitude. I mean, not to say that people aren't allowed to be negative or feel negatively about something. Of course, I do about plenty of things in life, but when we're dealing with things that we don't have control over, it's best to just hope for the best, I feel. Do you feel at all that this sets back some of the progress that you guys have made? I don't know if set back is necessarily the correct word, but it certainly placed another obstacle in our path. What would you say if you were talking to other transgender people, other transgender teens who hear the announcement from the Trump administration today and say, this is just another thing that is making my life difficult. What would you say to them? Um, I would say to them that it's okay to be upset. It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to be angry. But that energy, uh, you know, turn that energy into action and turn that energy into, you know, advocacy. And for those that, you know, they can't, they're not in a position where that's plausible for them. I would say, you know, there's still really, really good people out there fighting for them every day and very hard, like the ACLU. There's, you know, people, no matter what happens, that are going to be fighting to work against this unfortunate event and people who will be fighting for the rights of, of trans students and just trans people everywhere. Anything else do you want to make sure that we relay to our viewers? I guess just to, you know, for everyone to keep their heads up, no matter how afraid they might feel. I mean, things, I, again, I just, I feel very positively that things will not continue to trend in this direction. Things, uh, um, progress is being made every day and it will be continued, it will continue to be made just with these additional obstacles now in the way.